what's going on everybody josh pocock here and in today's video we are going to be looking at installing and self-hosting file browser all right the github is down below in the description as well as their website their docs but this is essentially a tool where you can host your files and you can access your files in an easily easy to use gui in the browser all right so you can access your files on your server we're also going to show you how you can do all this with coolify so not familiar with coolify i've done videos on it but it's essentially an open source self-hostable vercel netlify heroku alternative so we're gonna dive into it let's dive right in all right so first things first coolify is right here i'll leave a link to that as well self-host it it's very simple you just click self-host and you just run this command and you're good to go all right i've done a lot of videos on coolify so if you install it and you're new to it check some of those out but the principles that i'm going to be talking about don't just apply to coolify you can use this whether you're using portainer whether you're just installing it in a, a typical docker compose whatever the case may be um the same concept still applies so also to uh, like i said the link for their uh, file browser docs are down below in the description so you can see there's a quick setup guide here there's different ways to install it there's brew unix windows and there's you'll see the default once we do set it up the default credentials are admin and admin so once you set it up you're going to want to change that of course and then let's just see here okay so um yeah you can check out their docs uh they're so, you know, they're pretty helpful, but I'm going to show you the specific way um, to do it. So you can just copy and paste the code here. So um, this is the Docker Compose file I'll be using. All right. Just to quickly cover it, we're just using version three services, file browser. This could be named anything where you have the image right here, container, user. So, all right. So the way you get this is you can go to your command line and just type in ID. It's going to give you the uh the id numbers and the uid of the current user you're logged into so you could use root you could use a different user right and you're going to put those numbers here um and then the ports so it's on port 80 but um yeah we're using port 8091 you could put this to whatever port you desire and then for the volumes um you're going to see that we have for me like this will depend if you're using a different user besides root then you would want to put that directory for us in this specific case we're going to use root and srv and then um this right here root repos file browser file browser.db and then database.db this is um basically where so if i show you because this is file browser i have it installed already on a, a different um a different project and you'll see that in uh, so i have a folder called repos in my root and then file browser and before you actually install this you're going to want to put a file in here called file browser.db all right um this could be in really any location wherever you're uh, uh, mounting it um and if we go back here you'll see this is like root repo uh file browser and wherever you put the location you're going to want to put it here but you're going to need a reference file browser db and the reason being is if you don't do this um if you don't have um a you have to create a file it's kind of like a i guess maybe a little bug um with file browser if you don't have the file here you're going to get the error saying that it's basically reading it as a folder and it won't be able to deploy all right, so you're gonna have to, um, you know, put that uh, that file browser DB in there. So if you don't know how to do that, you can just make a directory. So you could run something like, let me just pull up my command line. You could run something like um, make dir and then like file browser wherever you want to put it, and then you could run uh, and then you could just do cd into file browser. All right. Uh, I spelled file browser wrong there, but you get the point. And then you could basically um, just create the folder. And then you could just create the file by doing a command like touch filebrowser.db. And then you'll be good to go. Once you have that, 
um, and you have customized the Docker Compose right here. So everything else is pretty standard. Restart unless stopped. Security opt. No new privileges. True. We're going to copy that. And within Coolify, I have a test file browser project here. So I'm just going to go into the production. Um, and then we're going to add a new resource. All right, so I'm going to add a new resource that I'm going to click on public repo here. All right, so I'm going to paste in the repo right here. Um, I created a second Docker Compose just on a different port so that it will work. And I'm just doing the build pack of Docker Compose, of course. And I'm going to click continue. And all right now I'm just going to click on deploy. All right, and we see it is a success. So what I'm going to do now is just connect a, or generate a domain and then go to this domain so we can see if it worked. All right, and boom, there you have it, a new file browser location. So let me go admin and admin. Okay, I'm not gonna save that, of course. Once we do that, it'll be in your actual, um, yeah, your server and you can see all the files wherever you put the location for it. You can go up here and see my files. You can go new folder, new file. You can check settings here. Um, you can do some profile settings. You can, you're going to want to change your password initially. Uh, share management, uh, global settings. So allow user sign up, auto create user, home directory when adding new users, um, different permissions and whatnot, command runners user management all right you can go back to my files here you can toggle shell so you can run sh uh, shell commands here um you can switch view you can see different views you can download files upload files see info on files select multiple files all right if i just show you what the file editor looks like real quick we go here we open up this Okay, well, this file is not for available. Um, this is the database one we just used, but usually you can see it, edit it, etc. Um, open file, download file. There's you also an option for like, let's say if I go new file, test, create. This is a, you can just add some text here. You can save it. All right. You can. Um, click on it and you can also share it, rename it, copy file, move file, delete file, toggle, and then yeah, do all that. Um, if we share it, you can share it for a select duration, hours, minutes, you can add a password if needed. So kind of like a little bit of a Google Drive type thing, um, just for your server. It's definitely a little, it's definitely useful. Um, there's also, you know, I also use a tool like, um, what's it called? Uh, Copi uh, um, similar to kind of like a tool that I also use called Cockpit. Uh, Cockpit has a bit more admin functionality and whatnot, but uh, File Browser is definitely a pretty pretty useful tool um, that I've just been using a little bit lately for things on different servers here and there. So hope this helped show you how to install this on Coolify or wherever you're hosting it, whether it's Portainer, whatever. And um, yeah, all the code that I used is down in the description down below, the Docker Compose and all that good stuff, as well as the docs, links, etc. If you're new to this channel, we upload videos every single day on open source software, AI, automation, self-hosting, uh, marketing, business growth, etc. If you're an entrepreneur, developer, uh, business owner, whatever the case may be, and you got some value here then definitely subscribe to stay up to date with the daily uploads also too guys if you are new here and you haven't already joined our free stride community we have about 750 to 800 members in our free facebook group free discord channel and these are all like-minded individuals people like yourself like me and you can network with each other and get different resources shoot ideas etc so it's it's 100 free it's down below in the description stridecommunity.com also too guys if you haven't already checked out my book client acquisition code all right it will teach you how to get leads for your business with ai it's the code to client acquisition so check that out 
other than that guys i will see you in tomorrow's video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care